of here's my GOMO F coming in the box. Covering up my information. <laughs> this is a um, 450 pen. Uh, I haven't opened this yet. This is my first injection. information here. It's a big thick booklet <laughs> and basically you get the pen and a bunch of needles but I only need two needles. <laughs> From my previous cycles I have a sharps container. I'll open here and also from my previous cycles some alcohol, some gauze and <laughs> some leftover needles. <laughs> From previous Gono F pens. I don't really need the gauze. It also came with some instructions. But um, I'm pretty used to this. But it's been two cycles, so I'm going to read the instructions. Bubbles. Okay, I don't see any bubbles. It does say 450. Alright, don't shake the pen. Let's check the expiration date. Expiration says March 2019. You can see that. Okay. Sorry if it's incredibly dark. There's just no light over here. This is the best place for me to set up with the camera. Okay. So, again, checking for bubbles. No bubbles. Select my dose, which is 225. Hopefully you can see that. It's focused. I don't know if you can't see it. Sorry. All right, two twenty-five. No pushing, no pulling. Okay, so now I have that. Now time to choose my spot. I don't use ice. These needles don't hurt very much. Choose a spot somewhere within an inch of the belly button. <laughs> I like to choose my right side because my right side is the open side and it's also the lazy side. <laughs> All right, so remove the blue. This is sub Q needle, very small, very thin, and
trying to see if I need to pinch. I don't think I need to pinch. Check the doses display again. Still 225. Tell you don't try to put the the uh, blue one back on because you might stick yourself. So basically, stick the white cap on, unscrew it off. folks it is 729 I've already set up here this has already been setting out I'm rushing because I took this around the same time yesterday so okay so here's my going to left pen um, I need to dial it up to 225 oops 225 okay and I have to do my needle. Okay. That's all nice and tight. Let's hold on to that. Alright, so I got the little blue clip. And I did my right side yesterday. I'm going to do my left side today. And I'm working out after, so um, I'm gonna use a band aid today. Okay. Oops, I'm just gonna blow it dry. Alright, time is now 7.31. Ready, folks? And and that is all she wrote. That is down to zero now. So I have taken everything there is to take out of this pen. There goes the needle. Bam! This pen is done. <laughs> and I have all these extra needles. I don't know why they put so many in there. Alright, that's all folks. Oh, that didn't even hurt. Hmm. 
looks like he might have got like right there. That what I know. Shallow. How did it go deep? I didn't feel that deep. Oh, so you can feel it when I come. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> these veins are deep. You might have hit a little thin one on the way in there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> didn't feel See, all that deep. Oh, well. <laughs> See. See, I forgot. I'm Melissa. See, you know your arm, so. Like it ain't feel like it ain't mm -hmm. hurt. So <laughs> she trying to say it need to hurt a little bit. <laughs> no, I mean I'm just you know it didn't hurt at all. <laughs> Not even the initial stick it didn't hurt. All right. <laughs> Turn the mess. When the hold on, let me start prepping this arm now. <laughs> see, it's too on. See, I see the dance. Boom, boom. See, see, that might be, that might be it right there. So I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deep in your arm there. You do it. Can I go deep? <laughs> That's what they are. The good ones, I know. You say the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got a lot of visible ones. <laughs> I know what I'm. I know. It. But they say it's the one you feel, not the one you. Mm. <laughs> I know, not the one you see. So. <laughs> I know I can't, I know I can't use them. Because you got to feel, press. You're not you pressing go. dark deep enough. You got to press down. You feel, I feel it? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, I'm trying to tell you because the no, last I time I was at the lab, the one girl was in training. Ooh. And she had to get the other and lady you? to come stick it. She was with you. Yeah, she told, me she, she told me she was training. And I said, go ahead. And she had, she had trouble. And she asked the lady came in. The lady came in and stuck, stuck me. No problem. And she said, what? She said, can I feel it? What you feel? She I said, you got a, a vein is deep. You got to press harder. She was pressing light like you pressing. You got to press harder. <laughs> All right, Miss Tamika, let me see. Yeah, see, that one hurt a little bit. Sorry, see. I don't like hurting people. It's a needle. It's going to hurt. What I say? <laughs> you know your own. What I say? Gotta go deep. <laughs> see, I'm you trying. Know, told you. You know that thing. See, I, then I see. I should have known. I had it got to see. No blood ain't even squirt out when I put it in there. <laughs> I had told you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you know I hate it when you write like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it is lower than last time. <laughs> hey y'all. At the doctor's office again. This is the same shirt I had on my last dissemination, but that's okay. Wait for the doc. Hopefully my follicles will look good. Maybe that fertility massage is working. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on. This is the left side. This is the right side. Mm -hmm. Hey man, that left one's always dominating. Why? And it's crazy because I felt the most. Ugh. That's okay. 
I need a win for the right side. <laughs> Very nice power glare. I read something the other day that says sometimes even if the follicle is on one side, it doesn't necessarily have to come down that tube. And I... It's a possibility. Is, is it that yeah. it can travel to the other side and From get picked here, up? I've seen a few patients along my career that for some reason they have evidence of uh, tubal occlusion on that side that they have a nice follicle mm -hmm. and somehow they get pregnant. Well, so. let's hope you get that a second time. <laughs> okay. Left side is where mine is, right? Yes. Yeah. Left side. <laughs> um, so that means that we decided to do the insemination about 30, day, 30 hours after triggering. I figured as much because it was like almost 10 o'clock. Six hours would be like ten o'clock at night. I don't think you can. No. <laughs> Go ahead and get dressed. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that overdrive. I have no clue what time it is. No clue. Twenty-four. It should be good in room temperature. It's been sitting for an hour. Comes a little pack like this. All right, ready to go. Just have some air in it. I'll put my room off and I'll go with this up. Okay. That is all she wrote. 
Oh no. No bleeding. It is Tamika TTC and I am leaving my Ari's office. Oh boy. So, I'm not going to do the 30 hours. It's going to be more like 22 hours. Uh, 21 and a half. Uh, probably like 22. Probably get here at 12. But yeah, I wise to go for tomorrow. But as you can see, my left side has the winner. The left side is the black side. <sighs> I hope the serapeptase is working. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm taking the serapeptase. Because I don't want him to swear me off it. <laughs> But, as you heard him say, he's had patients that magically get pregnant. I bet they take serapeptides. <laughs> um, good news. I finally broke 250! Finally broke 250. The scale this morning, my scale, say 248 point. 248.6 I think um <laughs> I showed you the scale in the doctor's office but yes I finally broke 250 oh you have no idea how troublesome that has been for me to have not broken 250 yet I'm so glad to have broken 250 this was the original eight week appointment on the 19th so that's my eight weeks I lost let's see 270.2 under this bridge again 270.2 <laughs> down to 248 249.2 is um 21 pounds so it's like 21.8 almost 22 pounds in eight weeks not horrible I'm not gonna celebrate with you know, fast food or anything. But, um, hmm. I felt bloated, but I was like dehydrated. <laughs> As you can see, she had a little trouble with my blood work. And she had to stick me twice. But, um, blood flow just fine. But I took my trigger, as you can see. I don't know. I don't have any feelings about this thing. Because I only have the one good follicle. The ones on my right, like 13. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get big enough. You know, I just sent an email to my acupuncturist to let her know that the IUI was a go for tomorrow. And I really feel like I ovulated from my right side earlier in this cycle. I got this pimple right here. And it's on the right side. 
So I feel like my magic follicle <laughs> on the right side, um, I ovulated already. I woke up that one morning feeling all, all uh, tired and fatigued. I'm going to start doing my OBKs a little earlier now that I have the one full strip since they're so cheap. I think I'm going to start doing them um, right after my cycle ends. Because I think I surge pretty early on that right side because my, my day three ultrasound I actually had follicles on the right side already. I mean, I had follicles on the left too, but I don't know. I totally feel like I ovulated on the right side earlier in the cycle, like around day five. I don't know how good that follicle would have been. I feel like they're like leftover boosted follicles from, um, you know, from the previous cycle. I don't know. I'm hungry, though. Time to get something to eat. Go home and get me some breakfast. I didn't even work out this morning, but that's okay. Most resistance training, I can do that on Saturday. I fell asleep during my casserole pack, so I missed my massage. Not like it would have made a difference with the casserole, with the, um, um, the follicle size, but. Um, no, my, my right side is so lazy, my left side always dominates. very first cycle I had two on both sides pretty close together and now just this right this left side I really hope the serapeptase the castle pack and the massage is working up. I need it to work. I need it to work. But I got three more tries at this. I'm not gonna call this cycle out yet.
sorry guys, I just, I'm happy to be doing another IUI. I don't care that that follicle is on the left side. Is it ready to go? Hopefully it's not over mature. You know, maybe that's why my other ones wasn't working. Maybe it wasn't timing. Maybe it was my black tube. My last one, I had the one follicle on the left side. Hmm. I'm working on it, though. Or, I should say, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>